so one of the additions we added to the overlay optimizer was the delay pop-up effect. We'll see it in action here if I refresh this screen. What happens, we've got a time delay on the overlay optimizer, so it automatically pops up on the screen based off the number of seconds that I put inside the control panel. So let's quickly jump in and look at the settings menu. So if I close this down, go into the live editor, and for this overlay optimizer, we're using the no button style. So effectively, it's just um, there in place, ready to pop up. So there's no text or anything used in this. This could actually be pushed all the way down the bottom of the page. And it's still going to pop up and you know come into play on the site. So if I click on the little square icon here and open up the settings menu. And from here, if I just scroll down, we have this option here called overlay pop. And I expand that. And inside here, I can control how many seconds it appears. So this is the delay timer of how many seconds the pop-up is going to appear on the page. And further down, we also have the option is how many days after it activates once will it appear again. So if you wanted to set this to maybe three or five days, that's how long it will be cookied on the user system for it to show again. So if you do use the overlay pop-up feature, it might be worth changing this to maybe three or five days and also testing how long you increase the delay time when it comes on the screen. Um, generally, you, if, you you know, if you change it down to one second, it's going to be there immediately. You might want to increase that up to 30 or even 60 seconds to see if the person is staying on your page long enough, and then you could present them with a pop-up to try and maybe capture their name or email. Um, so it's a great tool used like that. Um, just play around and test it. See which works best for you if you're using a longer period for delay, and also how many days apart you have the delay trigger in again. There's also a couple of other features which is hide on mobile and hide on tablet. Okay, and you can see here the screen size examples. This is a very nice feature because some people don't want these overlays to pop up, especially if they're on a mobile phone. Remember that if you're looking at something on a small screen, the last thing you want is actually a little pop-up to come up and then you've got to close that down you know, right during the process of your reading something. So bear that in mind if you are using the um, delay feature and the pop-up feature inside the overlay optimizer. So have fun with this one. It's a great tool. Use well. It can really increase your leads for your list building.